As a digital entrepreneur, it is sometimes so easy to get enchanted and caught up by new shiny tech tools, isn't it? <laughs> we get a recommendation or hear about a new tool that has all these flashy functions and features and suddenly we've tumbled right down the tech rabbit hole. That's why in this video, I wanna talk about the four dangers of those tech rabbit holes and the four solutions to become more strategic with your tech tools. Now, for some people, the tech rabbit hole is exciting and curiosity-driven and fun. For others, it's slightly scary or anxiety-provoking or overwhelming. But whatever your experience of those tech adventures might be, in this video, I want to give you a chance to pause and consider what's actually happening when you're falling down that tech rabbit hole so we can give you strategies to get yourself out of it. Now, first, don't get me wrong. I am a techie geek gal. I love me some good tech and I can mess around with cool tools for hours, which is part of why I wanna share these insights with you that I've learned both from my own experiences down those rabbit holes and from conversations with my Freedom Evolution students who are trying to figure out exactly where and how certain tech tools fit into their business tech stack. So let's dive in to danger number one. Don't get obsessed with that tree. Sometimes I talk to students who are either obsessed with tech or utterly scared by it, who then dive headlong into tech tool research before they've even done the work of defining their vision or clarifying the business model for their business. When you're a digital entrepreneur, it's sometimes easy to feel the pull of dealing with the digital. But the heart of your business is in being an entrepreneur. You need to know what you're building, who it's for, what services you're gonna offer, and how you're gonna deliver those services before you truly have any clue what kind of tech needs to be in your business's tech stack. Often I see students who are either so daunted or so enchanted by the tech that they dive into researching or toying with different tools for days, weeks, sometimes even months, believing they're doing productive work, but they can't even define what they do or who it's for. Now, this is a classic example of getting so over-focused on the attributes of a particular tree when what you really need is to step back and appreciate the beautiful forest you're in. There's definitely a time for focusing in, going deep, building out a particular tool or system, but diving into that work first might just be a tremendous waste of time because your obsession with that one tree may actually be dragging you off of your path. Solution, do the big picture vision work first. Danger number two, is this a piece for your puzzle? Maybe you've done your big picture work. You know the shape of the business that you're building. However, you find you've fallen down the tech rabbit hole because someone recommended a fancy new project management software or calendar scheduling tool or a CRM system. And well, it just sounded super cool. The danger here is getting clear on what problem you're actually trying to solve first. You don't wanna just start adding tech tools to your world because they're fun or cool. They need to serve a clear and specific purpose. They need to be solving a known problem. Otherwise, they're just more likely to create chaos and confusion in your world and for your team. Now, sometimes it's tempting to just start shoving new pieces into our business puzzle because, well, they <laughs> look pretty or they're interesting, but if they don't belong, then they're just complicating your world, not making things better. After all, you don't need three different cloud storage tools, two different CRM platforms, and four different project management systems. That's just massively confusing. Find the best tool to fit the needs of your business right now with some consideration to future-proofing your growth and then stick both feet there. Solution, keep it simple. Danger number three, beware the shiny, flashy features. Sometimes we choose a tech tool knowing it might be a little bit fancier than you need right now but you can see that your business is gonna grow into it over time, and that is great. That's what we call future-proofing your tech stack. However, for right now, when you're setting yourself up with that new tool, 
don't get distracted or confused by all the shiny features that might be useful down the road. It can be easy to get overwhelmed or lost in a powerful tool and all its potential use cases. But sometimes what you need in this moment is to simply pause, get super clear. What do I need from this tool right now? What problem will it solve? And what's the minimum viable product, the simplest possible way I can use this tool to solve that problem? That's it. Focus on what your business needs from this tool and set that up. Get comfortable with those features first. All those bells and whistles will be there. When you're ready for them, you can get curious and learn more about how to utilize them down the line. There may also be a ton of features in your chosen tool that you'll simply never need to use. They might not be relevant for your business model or for your use cases, and that is fine too. Just because a feature or element is included with your subscription doesn't mean you have to find a way to use it if it's not valuable or necessary for you. For instance, maybe you've had both feet in Dropbox for years, but then you get an Office 365 subscription. So you can use Microsoft Word and Excel. That doesn't mean that you should now figure out how to use the included OneDrive space if that's just gonna create confusion or involve you in a massive and unnecessary transfer project that simply isn't the priority right now. Maybe the purpose for that part of the subscription will become clear later, or maybe it's just a bonus you don't need. Solution number three, use tools to solve specific problems. Danger number four, is this just procrastination? time for some honest truth. I have definitely been guilty of this one. You find out about a cool new tool and while you don't really have any problems in that area, your current system's working just fine, you still fall down the tech rabbit hole playing with the tool just to see what it can do. And, you know, sometimes we give ourselves a pass and say, it's research. I'm learning about things that might be useful someday. But sometimes we really need to acknowledge the hard truth. Really? We're just procrastinating. Hardcore. This research feels like more fun, but it isn't what's most important to be doing today. And we're using it as an excuse to avoid what we know is important. Have you been there? I definitely have. So if you've been using tech as a procrastination strategy, then it might be time to get honest and maybe even go deep to figure out why you're avoiding the work that's more important. If you've recognized that that's been happening to you, then it's time for solution number four, get unstuck and moving again. This is where I'm excited to share that I've created an awesome guide to help you get unstuck with even the most stubborn procrastination patterns using my process, unstuck and moving. This process leverages some of the most powerful techniques in neuro-linguistic programming and excellent productivity skills to help you bust your procrastination patterns and get back to work. You can grab the Unstuck and Moving Guide for free when you head over to chosencourse.com forward slash I want more. There you're gonna find this fabulous guide and a ton of other hugely valuable resources to help you grow your business, including the Road to Inspired Action free video training that will teach you how you can finally escape the exhausted entrepreneur trap and step into your powerful future as the visionary CEO for your business and your life. So next time you find yourself falling down that tech rabbit hole, remember our four solutions. Do the big picture vision work first. Keep it simple. Use tools to solve specific problems and get unstuck and moving again. These solutions should help you avoid or climb out of most of those tech rabbit holes so much more easily. It's time to keep your eye on the prize, Freedom Lover. Let's get moving.